Hey guys, Sebastian here from GreenMusicProductions.com. Now, in my Cubase 8.5 review and tutorial video, I told you I would make a separate video for VST Transit. So that's what I'm doing today. Uh, VST Transit is a cloud service that Steinberg introduced with Cubase 8.5. And it's really nice because it allows you to add some friends, to collaborate with other people, and this is all integrated into Cubase 8.5. So let me show you guys how it works. You have to click on the VST Cloud tab right here and then click on VST Transit. Now, if you're not a My Steinberg uh, user, you can create an account by clicking on this link. And if you are, you just type in your email and your password and click on login. Now, it takes a little while to log in, uh, but it's not that bad. <laughs> At first, I wasn't able to log in, but uh, they seem to have fixed some stuff. So now it's more responsive. So this is the main window. You have three tabs. The first thing you would need to do is go under profile and fill in your information so other people can find you. So yeah, uh, you have to fill in your location, languages, skills, instruments, genres, band company, about me. You can also upload an audio reference so other people can listen to what type of music you're doing. So that's really nice. And you have an other users can see my profile data option if you want them to be able to see your information. And here you can see uh, basic information like your traffic and your storage. So you have one gigabyte of traffic per month. This is only for download traffic. You can upload as much as you want. It doesn't really matter, but downloading um, is only one gigabyte per month. And the storage is 500 megabyte total. So it means that you can upload up to 500 megabytes uh, on your VST Transit. So um, once you filled in your information, you have to click the Save Profile and you can go under the Projects window. Now, uh, for example, if I wanted to upload this project, I would have to click on Create Project and it would upload the Project Session uh, file and the WAV files. So that's really easy and straightforward. And here you can uh, select if you want my private projects to show up, my shared projects, or my friends' shared projects. It's pretty straightforward. Um, here you can see who's um, the project members and if there's any comments in the projects. So let's say you're sharing a project with someone and he uploaded some new files, he did some tweaks. You can click on the sync project to download the new modification from VSD Transit. So it's really easy. It's just one click. You can also click open project. Um, so Cubase will open this project. It's really straightforward and you can delete some projects. So it's really easy and straightforward. Now this tab right here, the friends tab, um, you can find users really uh, easily. Let me just put in, um, let's say, Electro. So VST Transit will look for any users with Electro in their name, description, genre, or anything. So a list of users popped up, so I can just um, click on them and see their information. And I can click on Invite Friend if I want them to become my friend. So that's really nice. I can also message them. Um, let's say I'm looking for an Electro guy for a collaboration on one of my songs, then that's a good way to find them. Uh, now let's look at what they have to offer. Um, for three months, you can get the premium pack for $12. Uh, the premium pack is basically 20 gigabytes of traffic per month and 5 gigabytes of storage space. So uh, that 20 gigabyte, as I said earlier, will renew itself every month. And the five gigabyte is the maximum you can upload on the storage. And now there's also a six month package for $20 and a 12 months for $30. And you can add some traffic, a 20 gigabyte of traffic for $4.99. So that's not bad at all. These are really good prices. And the traffic uh, is only for download uh, data. So if you're uploading, you can upload as much as you want. There's no limits. So that's pretty good. And um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, I hope you enjoyed that video. If you did, please click that like button and that subscribe button if you're not a subscriber. And as always, see you in next video. Take care, guys. Bye.